Hi everybody, how's it going? Uh, first of all, let me apologize for my very messy background uh, back here today. Uh, I'm in the middle of moving some things around and I just wanted to get out a little video to show you today all about light stands and which ones uh, would best suit you and which ones you should pick up uh, for your lighting needs. Uh, so there's a lot of items that you can get uh, related to photography that you can save a lot of money by getting something cheap that doesn't matter too much. But one thing that I think you should put more money into uh, is tripods and light stands because if you buy a really cheap crappy one, it's just going to be more frustrating for you than it is good uh, wobbling around and maybe breaking and dropping your expensive light on the ground. Uh, they can crack under pressure with the cheaper plastics and things like that. So I wanted to show you today some of the ones that I use and um, some of the ones I've used in the past which I don't recommend and, um, and hopefully that will get you on your way to uh, making a smarter purchase when you get a tripod or uh, sorry, a light stand. Uh, so it's going to depend on what you're shooting, whether it's outdoors, on location or in studio and whether or not you have an assistant with you uh, and the size of your light. Um, so typically if you're going to use a speed light, something small, you don't need anything too big and crazy. Uh, you might be able to get away with something like these ones here, these smaller Manfrotto uh, light stands, which are very nice. Now, most of the ones I'm going to show you today are made by Manfrotto. If you don't know that, that brand, uh, Manfrotto has been around for a long time, a company out of Italy that are very famous for making tripods and light stands and things like that. So, uh, the good thing about this design is that it packs flat. Whoops, there goes one of my stands now. Uh, they pack very flat and they can actually clip together. Like you can see here, if you buy more of the same size, they will just uh, link in together here like so. And once you have the top part rotated around so it can sit flat, they will pack flat for transportation, which is great. Just like that, and you're able to mount multiple light stands together uh, without taking up too much space, which is something you can't do with your more traditional light stands uh, because they pack down more like a, a regular tripod type setup like so, giving a bigger bottom footprint. And uh, I mean, these are fine too, but it's just a nice little design that Manfrotto have come out with that allows you to pack them flat and clip them together. So I think you can buy a pack of three of these from Amazon or eBay, uh, sorry, or B&H, something like that, Adorama, probably for about 170 bucks for the smaller one. And this is the 1051 BAC. So this is the smaller of the uh, light stands. And I have used this a lot out on location. The problem with this one is the stance. So the uh, distance between the legs at the bottom uh, is not that wide, meaning that when you put it up at full height, if it is a windy day, it's uh, going to have more of a chance of toppling over if you don't have someone there to hold it with you. So this goes quite high, I think to about probably seven foot, maybe six and, six and a half, seven foot or so, which is generally enough for most stuff. Uh, it's great if you're just using a speed light without a diffuser on it. So if you're going to put an umbrella or something like that, or a softbox, uh, it's probably going to fall over, even if there's a little bit of wind outside. What I normally do when I'm outside, I don't know if you can see this, uh, but if I'm working by myself, I will put my foot on the bottom of it if I don't have a weight bag with me. Uh, so usually I just hold one foot on the side, and then I'll shoot off to the, to the side like that. But if I can, I'll have an assistant with me to uh, make sure it doesn't fall over and uh, let my flash go smashing down. Now, uh, for some of you wondering how we're going to mount the flash to the top of that, you're going to need something like this. So I think I've talked about this in previous videos, but this is an umbrella mount with a cold shoe adapter attached to the top of it. So this one here is also made by Manfrotto. It's called an umbrella mount, like I just said, and you just pop it on top of the uh, spigot there, like so, tighten it down, and then, this part here is sold separately by the way, this just screws onto the top, just allows you to clip your flash into the top of here, and then you can use this clamp to change the angle of your flash, lock it down. You can even put a little umbrella here uh, if you want to as well. So 
that's what you're going to need on top of the, all of these light stands if you're going to use a speed light. So that's a pretty nice one, a smaller offering from Manfrotto. Now I'll move up to a couple of bigger ones to show you now. And as you can see over here to my right, this is the, uh, the 1005 BAC light stand from Manfrotto. Much bigger base on the bottom. And this one goes up a lot higher still. This one has two sections. And yeah, this one goes up to, well, probably about 10 or 12 foot. And it's got air suspension. So if you accidentally let it, uh, let these um, uh, clamps loose while you have a, a bigger flash on top, it's not gonna smash down, but it will come down slowly because the air inside will uh, slowly release allowing for a nice soft impact if you do forget to hold on to your light stand as you're letting it come down. So that's a good feature to have as well. These bigger ones also can lock together like the smaller ones can as well. And they also pack flat like this. Lovely. So very nice design there as well. So I recommend the Manfrotto brand. They've been, uh, they're a great company. They make really good stuff. Uh, lasts for years and years and um, here's one more I'll show you this is a, a, an even taller one the 1004 back BAC and this one has three sections as opposed to this one having two sections so as you can imagine this one goes a whole lot higher I believe up to about 14 foot and it also has a nice wide stance on the bottom so it's uh, a lot less inclined to tip over in the wind outside, even when I'm using my bigger flash heads like the Profoto B1 or something like that. So if I'm using that bigger, uh, powerful flash, I'm gonna use a bigger light stand, bigger, sturdier, thicker one like this. Now, if I have an assistant with me and I'm working fast, as I do for a lot of uh, engagement type shoots and weddings, I love to use this one here. So. It's not really a light stand, but it's more of a boom pole. And this is made by Lastolite. And I think they call it the Lastolite Easy Pole. It can be bought, I believe, on uh, B&H still. Uh, I'm not sure about Amazon, but um, it's not cheap at about 80 bucks, not including this part. All you get is the pole, and you get a, uh, uh, like an attachment that goes around you that you can put this into a little loop to make it easier to hold. Um, but this is awesome, I really love this. This mount here is made by Cactus. Um, Cactus are nice enough to send me out a lot of their gear to try out and use, and I absolutely love this one. So this just goes on top of that, clamp down like so. Um, the Lastolite pole has um, rubber grips here to make it easier to hold. You can even hold it yourself if you want to just put a speed light in there. I'll make it shorter so you can see in the, in the camera there and then I can shoot uh, with one hand while I hold the speed light out to the side. Uh, so this is very, very handy and fast and you can easily pop on a soft box onto here, uh, one perhaps from also Cactus or Lastolite um, and you've got very fast mobile lighting and your assistant can just come out and hold it and you can just tell them, you know, raise it up more, give you a bit more angle, left to right, all of that. So then you don't have to worry about it falling over of course as well and your speed light just pops into here and you just clamp down on that. So it's, it's super simple uh, and very fast and small. Easy to take overseas when I do my overseas shoots. As long as I have someone there to hold it for me, that's my uh, preferred option. But, uh, so there we are, this is just a quick look at um, some of the light stands uh, I use. I recommend the Manfrotto's, like I said. Something you do want to uh, avoid are the really cheaper cheap ones. Um, they do tend to crack, like this one here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but on both sides of this really cheap plastic has actually started to split. Right there is a big stress fracture, and down this side there is too. So, uh, yeah, this is just some cheap uh, generic brand from eBay. I think I probably bought it for maybe 20 or $30 a couple of years back. And it works okay for a while, but sooner or later it's gonna snap and fall apart, and yeah, you don't wanna risk smashing your expensive lights to the ground. So uh, once you have something like this, uh, it can last you for years and years. You may not even ever have to replace it if you look after it. Um, so check them out, uh, Manfrotto, it's good stuff. And then for keeping 
them to the ground, uh, if you're gonna use a diffuser or heavier wind, you wanna put a weight bag on the bottom. So here's a couple of options. Your more traditional weight bag looks like this. Right now I've got a couple of dumbbell weights, but you can also put sand from the beach or whatever you want in there that's heavy. And um, these can just sit over the bottom of the, tri of the light stand, like so. Uh, these are okay, but it only holds down one side. Um, it can still topple this way, that way pretty easy. What I've found recently, which is a really cool new design from a company called The Vest Guy out of the States, uh, they were nice enough to send me over this donut shaped uh, weight bag. Right now I've got some dive weights in it, but this one too, you can unzip the back, fill it full of sand or whatever you like. And because this one is donut shaped, it can clip around the light stand through the middle here or right over the top. You can just pop it straight over like this if you want to. And it will sit down and distribute the weight all around your light stand so that there's no way it's gonna fall over really. Uh, you can load it up with as much weight as you like and uh, there's not much chance of it really falling over at all. It's really balanced and steady. So this is a really awesome piece of uh, kit to have along with you. When you're traveling, of course, you can uh, empty out your weights and just fill it up at your location with sand or whatever you, you wanna use. And other good thing is these are custom made. So you can choose your colors and you can even choose to have your website on the back. So I've got mine on there, photoshisa.com, and I've got a jungle camouflage on top just for fun. So um, check them out, thevestguy.com. They make awesome custom vests. And uh, if you have any other questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for future videos or questions, just uh, drop me a message or leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer them for you. All right, until the next video, have a great day. See ya.